Recent developments within the area of North and West Syria have indicated the ambiguous relationship between the Turkish state and Hayat Tahrir al-Sham, one of Syria's largest and most influential religious extremist militias. Hayat Tahrir al-Sham, which is internationally listed as a terrorist organization, was formerly known as Jabhat Nusra and constitutes a Syrian offshoot of the internationally operating Al-Qaeda terrorist network. Following the split of Syria's political opposition into numerous different factions, Turkey has been known as a staunch supporter of oppositional militias who are largely Turkish-affiliated and exert control over those areas the Turkish army occupied in 2018 and 2019. The city of Afrin, therefore, has evolved into one of the most notorious places of Turkish occupation. With the human rights violations and war crimes occurring daily, the situation was further exacerbated following the most recent takeover of the city by Hayat Tahrir Sham. The province of Idlib, currently known as the largest and last oppositional stronghold as the majority of Syrian territory was reconquered by Bashar al-Assad's regime forces, is also under the control of Turkish-backed oppositional militias, which even set up the so-called Syrian Salvation Government. Following the outbreak of violent skirmishes and clashes between different vying oppositional militias, Hayat Tahrir Sham, which maintains a close relationship with the Hamza division, entered into occupied Afrin and rapidly seized control of the city. Several posts and speeches by prominent Hayat Tahrir Sham members and affiliates indicated the aim to eventually unify all similar oppositional militias and merge them into one single authority. However, Turkey's geopolitical motives are still not very clear, as Turkey recently initiated a reconciliation process with the Syrian central government, despite formerly being a staunch supporter of extremist oppositional militias. Therefore, it remains unknown whether Turkey wants to consolidate its rules in northern Syria through the installation of its backed oppositional groups, or whether it solely uses the latter for the sake of proceeding with the rapprochement process with the Syrian central government. However, the most recent events in Afrin display the extent to which the Turkish government cooperates with Syria's extremist oppositional factions and is complicit in the preparation of human rights violations and war crimes.